Trey Young embraces the role of a villain. He eliminates the Knicks. The Knicks go out losing 4-1 to one in the series, 103-89. to 89. Um, Basically, after halftime, the game was done. The, the Knicks don't have a punch. They don't have shooters. They don't have the offense to, to, to go on runs, to, to come back from a deficit, to take a big lead. And the Hawks played with a lot of heart, play, played with a lot of intensity. Um, Trey Young, he, he's he's a dog, man. He I I love his 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 swagger. I love I love the intensity that he brings. I love how he jaws with the with the crowd. I like how he, he's he's embracing the villain role, and I love it, man. It, it it reminds me of like some old school basketball clips, and the bow at the end after draining a three to wrap up the game. That was amazing. That was, that's playoff basketball. He took a bow. Uh, afterwards, the game, he said, I know where we are. I know there's a bunch of shows around this city, and I know what they do when the show is over. Just, ooh, I, I like his swagger, man. Trey Young, he's always going to be linked for with Luka, and it was just great to see both of them having great games in the same night, in the playoffs. Trey Young and Luka are the future of this league, and it's, it's amazing to see them take over this playoffs uh, Trey Young joins Michael Jordan as the only players in NBA history to score 30 points in three straight games at Madison Square Garden in the playoffs. Uh, to be fair, there hasn't been a lot of people that have been given the opportunity to, to do this. The Knicks have stunk it up for a while. Uh, they have not been relevant for a while, so it's not like people have a chance to do that in the playoffs because the Knicks are never in the playoffs. But with that being said, that's also that's a great any anytime your name is next to Michael Jordan, that is a great accomplishment. So let's give our flowers to Trey Young. He had a great series, 29.2 points per game, 9.8 assists per game, and shooting 44 from the field. Great numbers, great performance. Trey Young put on the show this first round. Uh, the Hawks' defense was energized this whole series. They were flying around. There was a lot of possessions. I watched a lot of this series, and there was a lot of shot clock violations by the Knicks or a lot of super close calls where they just threw it up at the end and it barely graced the rim. That Hawks' defense definitely took a step up in the playoffs. Clint Capella has played a great season for the for the Hawks, averaging a double-double in the season. He has been great for them. He completely mans that paint. And he was one of the main reasons why Julius Randle struggled so hard this season. Capella, he could shuffle his feet pretty good. He could keep up with Julius Randle. And he's just a huge body. He's a blocker. He he gets a lot of blocks. He just defends the rim so well. And um, the Hawks just had better offensive players, and the Knicks couldn't keep up. Uh, in the regular season, the Knicks beat teams by having more effort by playing with more intensity, by just giving it all. And in that playoffs, when everyone brings effort, when everyone's trying, when everybody is playing at 100, 110%, it just, the Knicks' advantage just went out the window because that's, for the most part, that's how they won in the regular season. And that's great for them. Like, no, no, it's not really a disappointment for the Knicks. If you look at all the polls before the playoffs, before the regular season, People had the Knicks as the second worst team in the East, as the worst team in the NBA. No one expected the Knicks to be in the playoffs, let alone the fourth seed to be hosting playoff games. Um, so overall, it was a great season for the Knicks. It was great to see Derrick Rose, you know, come back into the limelight, get a lot of notoriety, get a lot of credit for his great season. Just it was great to see Derrick Rose back in the limelight. Uh, Madison Square Square Garden looked like it was popping for those playoff games, especially the one with, that they won. That was some crazy, crazy footage. I wish I could have been there. It really highlighted that, yes, indeed, Madison Square Garden is the mecca of basketball. And I think the Knicks have a lot to grow from this. They have a lot of positives to take from this season. Um, Tom Thibodeau, if, if there's anything that you can say about Tom Thibodeau is that his teams always play with a lot of effort and they try really, really hard on defense. Yeah, he plays his stars maybe a lot of minutes and maybe that the basketball that he plays isn't the prettiest and maybe it doesn't translate into playoff victories. But he's going to get you to the playoffs and he's going to have your teams playing hard. And I think for the Knicks, for a team that has been struggling for so long, uh, for a fan base that has been in dire need of some type of success, this was... 
this was as good of a season as the Knicks could have had by any circumstance. They have a lot of cap space. Julius Randle had a horrific, horrific um, playoff series. You can't ignore that. There's no excuses. But if I were to give an excuse for Julius Randle, there's not too much going on in the Knicks. Derrick Rose, he still could get to the rim. He's explosive. His three-point shot is more reliable. He got his points. He had a great series. He was amazing. But Julius Randle, that bully ball, everyone knows he's going left, and there's not too many options to kick out to. Um, Bullock, Bullock is like your best three-point shooter. and the Knicks, the Knicks did good this season, and hopefully they keep building. And we do... We do need the Knicks in the playoffs. It became evident this season that the NBA is in a better shape when the Knicks are in the playoffs, when New York is in the playoffs. And it doesn't matter that Brooklyn has the better team, the better stars, that they're the favorites to win the championship. New York is a Knicks town, and we need them in the playoffs. So good luck to the Knicks. Hopefully they rebuild good. Hopefully they're able to attract some stars and they use their cap space well. We'll see if... If they give the max to Julius Randle, I would still give it to him. I would still give it to him uh, because what else do the Knicks have? There's no guarantee they get anybody else. This is the best season that they've had. He won most improved player. uh, And they've had terrible seasons leading up to this season. So you can't just let a player like that walk away after he gave you your best season in eight years. That's just my opinion. And everyone's getting maxes in the NBA. That's a discussion for another day. But I think he deserves max or whatever contract they throw at him i think the knicks deserve to be a good team in the nba it's good for the nba and i love what trey young's doing in the playoffs i love him being the villain he's always going to be hated in new york in madison square garden for the rest of his career that bow was amazing shout out to trey young good luck to the hawks in the east uh they play who do they play they play the sixers next without uh joe and beat so they might have a chance. We'll see how they do. But it was a great series nonetheless.